Hello everyone, welcome to Lever Guns 50. Today we're taking this 1886 and 4590, and this thing is gonna produce about 4,001 foot pounds of energy because we're shooting a 405 grain bullet at 2,109 feet a second. So we're gonna shoot it, we're gonna shoot it into some ballistic gelatin. We're also gonna shoot it into some water jugs, and we're gonna be shooting these, and I'll give you a close look at them. Thanks to Clear Ballistics for sending out this ballistic gelatin. And here's our bullets. That's a 400 grain spear on the left and a 405 grain North Fork bullet on the right. As you can see that North Fork bullet is quite a bit taller and it uses up quite a bit more powder space. But we were able to get these up to 2,109 FPS. We're going to also shoot it into some water jugs and just see how well these bullets hold together. Now you know the base of these bullets is solid copper. The front end is hollowed out with a lead core in there that expands out really good. So we're going to shoot them and just see how well they go, how well they expand and how far they penetrate and just kind of give us an idea how well these bullets will hold up on big game. So we're going to we're going to shoot them at, you know, maximum uh, velocity so we know that at further ranges they're not going to expand quite as, as much. They're not going to overexpand for sure. So we're just trying to see if we can tear them up, see how tough they are. So at longer ranges, they're all obviously not going to be tortured quite as hard as they are up close. Because we're pushing them pretty much to the max. Run across the top and exit out, take the top off of that one, and keep on going. Oh, Look at that bullet stopped in the third block about four inches in. Look at that big old wound count. Okay, there's where the bullet come in. That expands out to about two and a half inches of, ex of permanent expansion. That bullet comes all the way down here and stops right here. And so let's see, that is 35 and a half inches. That is a lot of penetration. That's enough to get you through most big game animals. So we can figure out what happened here. This thing fell apart like a $2 suitcase. 
This in here has got a hole in the bottom, but it doesn't look like it had much, much power. This one does not have any holes in it. And this one does not have any holes in it. Oh, here's the bullet right here. Here's the bullet. Okay, as you can see, this one right here is the one that went through the ballistic gelatin. It's a lot smoother looking. That water is a lot harder on bullets, and you see how messed up that bullet is. But they both did really good. So this in here went through seven one-gallon jugs of water, and this in here went through 35 and a half inches of ballistic gelatin. Take a little bit closer look at this. This here is the bullet that went through the ballistic gelatin, and it actually... Uh, retained all of its weight plus it gained about a half a grain but that's probably because there's some ballistic gelatin stuck up inside that curl this one here lost uh, two grains but that was going through water jugs so I think both of them probably really didn't lose much more than two grains at all if they lost much so I really feel like they held together good turn them over so you can see the side of them and they expanded out both of them expanded out to about 77 caliber well, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you'll check out North Fork Bullets and also Ballistic Gelatin. I want to give a big uh, thanks to Ballistic Gelatin and Frank Walker for helping us get that uh, Ballistic Gelatin. I want to thank everybody for watching. God bless each and every one of you. I hope you come back and see me. You hear? Hello, everyone. Welcome to Lever Guns 50. Today, we have this 1886 out here in 2,600 feet a second. It's that 300 grain. North Fork bullet 4570 and here's the 4590 and the 1886 will easily accommodate the 4590 so there's not really much reason to shoot the shorter 4570 bullets we're trying out sent to us by Wayne Chapman okay now we're gonna put this big old 4590 into the action Here's where our bullet stopped. Look at that big old wound channel right there. From right there to right there is four. It's like about four and three quarter inches. Expanded out to 78 caliber and lost two grains. Hey Bubba, what's up? You doing alright? <laughs>